happy. Day 17. So we have a lot going on right now in our lives, but today we start the comeback of trying to get back on track. We're gonna start with 3,000 words today. I haven't been able to do that before. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. I am positive, being positive. So yeah, I have to get to work. When I come back from work, we start in earnest. Hello, so it is 3 p.m. and I have not started writing today, so we're gonna get into that. It is about to start my writing sprints. I'm gonna do Pomodoro method, see how much I can get out of my brain into the keyboard. I only wrote 116 words yesterday and my nano, Raymo, says I have to write like 2,700 for me to like kind of start breaking even. My goal is to get to 3,000. Let's see if I can do this. I must be able to do this, so let's do this. <laughs> Hello, so I just finished my sprints. I was sprinting for two hours and 40 minutes. I ended up writing 1,572 words and I'm already exhausted and I have to be up really early tomorrow and it's 6 p.m. and I just wanna go to bed. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna make it to 3,000 words today. Plus I have actually to do a project now. So yeah, I'm gonna go work on my project, do that, and then I'll see you later, bye. So today is my last day in Birmingham. That's where I was all this time. So I don't feel bad about showing my way to work. Uh, but I have a lot of things to do today. Like I have a presentation. I have a... I have to like ship everything that I'm not taking with me to my next destination back home. So I'm going to take you along with me. I don't know how much writing I'm going to get done, but we'll see. So now we're at the tricky part of the night where I have to take that and put it all in that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. We're going to try. That's all we can do at this point. And that's all I need to do because I can't, like, I have nowhere to put the things that can't go with me, so. Really? I'm surprised. That's a new adult, right? But it's very, like, oriented Oh, I didn't Hello, so this ends this vlog and this ends this chapter of my life of moving so much all the time and I really feel like, you know, you came here for a NaNoWriMo vlog but you're kind of getting like life updates. I really feel like moving this much in the past three months I've lived in three different cities and it's very disorienting to live in three different cities because right when you're trying to get the hang of things and you're starting to get to know people and you're feeling a bit more in your place and like with your feet on the ground, you leave. And I feel like that instability, it's not something that I usually seek. I'm someone that really likes feeling grounded in my reality. And I am not someone that loves change either. So I do think that this experience taught me a lot about myself, about, like, I hate to say it, but like how strong I can be because it takes a lot to do what I did. And it was all like for the better of my career, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it came come for the better. Um, but it really just gave me experiences and made me go through things that I never thought that I would go through. And I feel like now at the end of it i'm kind of like reevaluating a lot of aspects of my life and aspects about myself and things i kind of want to change or things i think could be better or things i want to prioritize i think that's like a big theme that i'm going through like things of reprioritization of my life and i think that like especially this last month having nano it's really given me like a purpose and i think that especially in the city that I don't know anyone in Birmingham, it gave me something to do and something to focus my energy on so I couldn't wallow in my own loneliness because I am someone that really likes community. Hello, that's like why I have this channel. Like I like building community and connecting with people. So it was probably like the harder part of 
moving around so much because if people know that you're there for a short time they're not gonna build a connection with you and I've been blessed that I have built connections with some of the people that I've met and like literally think that they're gonna be lifelong friends but yeah it's just definitely a growing pain that I didn't think I was gonna go through this year so onwards and upwards tomorrow I'm not going home yet <laughs> I am actually going to Spain. <laughs> I haven't figured out how I'm going to do those vlogs there, but I am going to take advantage of my time on the plane to write. Let's see if I can write a lot, but honestly, like, I feel like this old tiredness settling over my soul, and I feel like I just need some time to recuperate, and I don't know how that's going to affect these vlogs. I'm, I'm going to vlog while I'm there, but I don't know if I'll be writing for NaNoWriMo. Maybe being there will inspire me since my book does have a lot of inspiration from Spanish culture and Spanish architecture and all that, but um, yeah, I guess you'll have to go along for the ride with me, um, and I'll see you when I upload next. Bye!